In today's official lab, we're going to study rotational motion, specifically angular deceleration and angular acceleration. The apparatus today consists of, a, of an arm here that can swing back and forth. Um, it is, there's a string tied around this pulley here, which will then, when it pulls, will swing the arm. And on the opposite side, draped over another pulley, is another mass here, a small mass. So when we let this drop, this guy here will spin faster and faster and faster. And then, of course, when the mass hits the ground, it will then slow down. It will then uh, slow down the spinning. And we're going to read that motion with a picket fence uh, around this disc. And we're going to pick up that with our photo gate. And as normal, we would use a picket fence like this for linear motion as it travels through the photo gate. But here we're going to use this disc instead. It's the same piece of software that we always use, Logger Pro. So now all I have to do is press collect. It's waiting for the data. And then I just release the weight. It spins faster and faster and faster until it hits the ground. It then the string comes loose and now it's just going to slow down. So here we see the data being collected in real time. The object is flowing, slowing, slowing. I'm just going to let that go, and I'll send you the data. Notice that time is being measured here. Omega is being measured here. And those are the two pieces of data being measured. Notice that it skips every other time. That's just because of the how it has to calculate using numerical methods. So at that time, it's that omega, and that time is that omega, and so on. So you'll have to take care of that when you import it into Excel. And it's finally stopped, and it timed out after 40 seconds. Okay.